Now you mentioned them, so we're going to go <laughs> into controllers. Yeah. Now I have written down here M Pro 200, M Pro 300, M Pro 400. Talk about the controllers. First of all, what is a controller, and how do how was it implemented? How do we use it? Yeah. So um, I'm going to use this as a prop. Yep. Because it'll help me. Um, so basically, again, just to reiterate, the, the controller is an interface to the plant right now. The, the tools and controllers, think of it as like a translator. The tool and the controller are talking back and forth in, in tool language, okay? The tool tells the plant what it did in plant language. Okay. Again, very gross simplification, but oh, yeah. that's, that's kind of what it is in a nutshell. And the controller has a lot of stuff. Like I said, we talked about the barcode example where we can load up an application uh, when a certain barcode is scanned and we can say look for these characters and you know if that if you see that then it's a uh, try not to use model names but it's uh, vehicle A you know if you see this string of characters it's vehicle B and it'll do the correct application based on that as well okay so a lot of capabilities that we're not really talking about today which is fine but um, in a nutshell that's what the controller is doing um, what we have is a similar strategy on controllers, really. We have a sort of a good, better, best on controllers as well. So our Impro 200 series, which I think we're going to flash some, some images of, of that up, right? Uh, the Impro 200 series is a cordless-only controller. Uh, there's no screen. You can connect a, a monitor to it. Uh, you can actually use your cell phone uh, okay. to connect to it um, and program the tools, only cordless tools, for that controller. Okay. Then we have one step up from that, which is a corded only controller, which is our Impro 300. So this is a very slim uh, version of uh, a previous controller that we had that runs corded only tools. Okay. Um, the Neotech. So I should say it only runs Neotech. Um, but that is uh, that has the servo built in, right? Um, does not have cordless functionality. Uh, we are, I'll say in the future, we're looking to add cordless functionality to, to that uh, that version of our controller and, and do some cool stuff yeah. there um, in the future. But anyway, but then we move on to the Impro 400, uh, which uh, I'm, sp I'm speaking specifically about the hybrid controller, but the Impro 400, and it can run a corded tool and up to 15 cordless tools all at once. Oh, okay. So you can have a corded tool. And, uh, you know, one of the things our customers uh, like to do as well is, like, they might be running a corded tool on an Impro 400, uh, they might have five or six neotechs that they're running. And what they'll do is they'll, you know, say, uh, say a tool needs to be serviced. They'll keep cordless tools as backups to replace those tools. So it's nice. They can come in, put the tool on the, on the controller, and they're back up and running without, uh, without any time, basically. Perfect. Yeah, that's the beauty of the 400 controller. We've got a customer right now that we're working with to pair new cordless tools to their existing 400 controllers that they're running corded tools on. Yeah. So it's a great way. It's, it's flexible for expansion and the growth, or sorry, growth in the future. And uh, so that you're able to add as new product comes down the line and still not have to replace the entire system. Yep. We've got some simple videos uh, that we just filmed. They haven't been released yet or anything. We haven't even edited them yet. Um, of James working with a couple different controllers yeah. in the uh, in the lab, so I'm looking forward to. Cool. Well, one one thing to also mention here is, uh, you know, when we started out on this, our our big thing with, you know, this ties back into controllers, but our big thing with the cordless line and controller strategy, was we wanted all of our all of our cordless tools to be on one battery, one charger. Uh, we wanted them all to speak Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, both built in, just like a just like a cell phone. Right, okay. um, and we wanted them all to be able to talk to our controller, to one single controller family. We're we're going to be the only company in the industry with that. I didn't I didn't plug it, but this is uh, early next year. We're going to have a Wi-Fi slap Wi-Fi Bluetooth both built in um, to our clutch tool. So, okay, all yeah. Right. So um, it's going to be a programmable clutch tool, but also a communicating clutch tool. We talked about Bluetooth yeah. not being what we would recommend, right? Um, Wi-Fi, it's going to be one of the first, I believe, uh, to have Wi-Fi built in to the tool as well. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So, 
Very cool. Very excited for that. I know our customers are excited for that Super as well. Super user friendly at that point. It is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, I mean, yeah. the more things that you can plan on being ready for, it fits anybody different applications. Yes. So. Yep. You guys know that the people out there from plant one to plant two to plant three, it could be the same company, plant one, plant two, plant three. And each one of the <laughs> yeah. plants wants something a little one, bit different or special or a little bit of pixie percent. dust here and a little, yeah. I, and they, they want it their way. So yeah. I guess Burger King, isn't it? They want it their way. Uh, <laughs> they want it their way, for sure. Well, it's funny, too. We, when we develop products, I mean, you wouldn't believe the amount of, different pieces of information we get and we got to try to the, the hard part for us is is you know product management and marketing and stuff like that is really figuring out all right what is the core set of requirements and things that we want to do right you know what i mean and sometimes you have to filter out those 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 little sidebars but uh, yeah. that's that's the tough part for us 